Good morning and a warm welcome to our daily prayers. It's Tuesday and as we've had all these coronation readings, and thank you very much to all of those who gave them to us. So now we're back on course after the coronation day. I wonder what your weekend was like um, celebrating just that. So we're back with Moses. We're going to spend a little time in the book of Exodus. And I couldn't help but get one of the big Cecil B. DeMille uh, motion pictures. And here we have Charlton Heston facing off Yul Brynner. Um, and we're going to be thinking about the confrontation between these two characters during this week. But this is not just a history lesson. Let's pray that it can speak into our lives in the here and now. Let's pray together now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And I said we're going to Exodus, but I just want to take one brief excursion today and look at the whole idea of as Christians, are we slaves? No, we're now sons of God. And so I'm going to be looking at Galatians 4 and at verse 4. But when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship. Because you are his sons and daughters, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit who calls out Abba, Father. Since you are no longer a slave, but God's child, and since you are his child, God has made you also an heir. We see in the book of Exodus how the Israelites went from being slaves to Pharaoh to being free um, under God. But it wasn't free to do their own thing. They were now part of a family, but God had adopted them as sons and daughters. And of course, it's prefiguring the Christian journey that you and I are on, that in Jesus Christ, we are no longer slaves to things. We are treated as God's children. Obviously, when someone's a slave, they're under obligation to do certain things. But in Christianity, we can find God's forgiveness and love and guidance much more of a freedom. That doesn't necessarily mean we can do what we want to do. We're God's children. We want to please the father. But it removes that repressive sense of obligation which a slave has that we are now sons and daughters. And also, as um, the Paul says in Galatians, not only that, but being his family, we are also heirs of the promise. We have something to look forward to in God. Let's pray together now. Thank you, Father, that you call me in Christ, your son, your daughter. Thank you that you look on me and I'm, I know I'll have your love for the rest of my life and I know I'll have your guidance. Thank you, Father, for that. Help me to behave as one of your children. Space for our own prayers now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so as we take this prayer into our coming day, so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.